How's, how's been fall camp so far? Yeah, it's been real good. It's been a great time. Good special teams play. We're having a lot of team periods going on, so I feel like we're going to be really ready for the first game in two and a half, three weeks from now. It's going to be good. This is really the first year that you guys have the same kind of special teams, uh, you know, uh, formations and all that. Nothing really different for you guys in years comparison. How much easier is it to make that you have the same special teams for two years? Yeah, I mean, you always really get a head start. You're able to start fall camp off on a much faster foot. You don't have to go over a lot of the same things initially because everyone knows what to do, knows how to do them. All the vets are teaching the young guys, and it just streamlines the process, makes it a lot easier. How far along are you in your master's program? Um, I have six more months. So in December, I'll finish. Okay. and then I'll What is that in? Aerospace engineering. Okay. Yeah. How have you been able to balance school and uh, football? Yeah, uh, it, it's been tough, to uh, say the least. I mean... Pretty much every single day is the exact same. I try to stay disciplined with my studies, and if I'm not doing football, then I'm at home studying and trying to get ready for a homework or a test or something like that. So. Now, I, I assume you, would, you, you want to play professional football, right? Yes, sir. But you looking at this as the, the backup, uh, the aerospace? Um, yeah, I mean, I have German parents. They're always like saying education is important. I mean, ever since I was growing up, I always had to have my homework done before I could go play stuff like that. So uh, obviously I want to go pro. That's what my intention is. Um, I'm working as hard as I can to go to the NFL. But I mean, if the Lord doesn't will that, then I'll be uh, trying to do aerospace. So. What are some guys that have stood out to you in terms of the runners on the team you're taking those practices? Honestly, everybody. I mean, I've been taking reps with the ones, twos, the threes, and each and every time the gunners, the shield, everybody is locked in and ready to go. I mean, it's just amazing to see when you have a hundred guys bought in, all willing to play special teams and do it at a high level as well. And in terms of return guys, obviously, you know, their jobs stop them, but who's impressed you back there? Um, like I said, again, just pretty much everyone that's been uh, back there has been catching well, but reading the punts well. I mean, today was real windy, so the ball comes off the foot, it'll drift 25, 30 yards, the wiggle will break up, and uh, they've been reading the ball well, so it's been impressive. But obviously, T Mac, Cowing, Mike Wiley, KG, G7, they've all been great return men so far. How would you say Tyler's improved as a longer range kicker? Um, I think he's always been a great long range kicker. I mean, ever since the day he stepped on campus, he's been able to hit from 65, 70, so I think. Yeah, what matter. are the numbers that you pay attention to most from your own stats? Is it distance? Is it time? Hang time? What What is the most important thing? Um, there's quite a few, but I mean, you go from the op time, so how long it takes to get the punt off, and then you go hang time, distance, location, net average, so pretty much everything. Can those things really be simulated well in practice when, like, from a team rushing you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, yeah. I mean, we go hard at each other every single day. So, I mean, if I have the punt scout team trying to come block a punt, they're trying to come block the punt. So, it really is like a game-like environment in that sense. When you talk about a career post football in aerospace, what's your emphasis there? What do you want to Yeah, so my main emphasis right now for my master's program is fluid mechanics. So, a lot of, like, the simulating airflow, whether it's low speed or high speed, like supersonic stuff. But in terms of what I want to do with that at the end is I'm not really sure. I'd love to work in F1 as an aerodynamicist, but... It's a tough uh, job to get into. Now F1 is? Formula One, Formula, so yeah. Oh, Formula One racing? Yeah, Formula One racing. So what, yeah. would, you do, what would you do with that there? Basically just uh, working on the cars, making them have higher downforce, making them have like the rear wing, for example, increase the downforce through a corner so you're able to go faster through a corner, shave down times on a lap time, stuff have like that. Have you always followed Formula One? I mean, who are your, guy, who are your drivers? I mean, I just love following it all. I mean, <laughs> there's quite a few Formula One fans on the team, so it's pretty cool. So. Who else is, who else is on the team? Cam Hawkins is a big Formula One guy. I know a lot of the coaches are. Uh, who is it? Uh, Tyler Leskin was a big Formula One guy. A lot of the strength coaches will watch it and stuff like that, too. So. No, it's expensive. I mean, they have one in Vegas coming up in November, but uh, it's like $5,000 to go to or something like that. So. Does any of the physics with aerospace engineering, does that help you, I guess, with your punch, just, I guess, playing it out there with altitude? <laughs> yeah, not at all. <laughs> Everyone tries to ask me that question, but at the same time, I mean, you don't really need a high IQ to punt a football. You should be consistent and then do the same thing over and over again. So, obviously, if it's windy, you can try to drive the ball or you can figure stuff what's going to happen, but you don't need to be an aerospace engineer to know that. All right. Thanks. Thank Sweet. You. Thank you, guys.